In this video, we will show you how you can connect your Facebook page and your ad manager to run ads via Interact platform. To simply do so, log into the Interact platform and on the left hand side on, under market, click on CTW ads. Once you click on this, the first step will ask you to create or connect a Facebook page. To do so, simply click on connect. Here it will ask you two options whether do you have a Facebook page or you don't have a Facebook page. So in this first scenario we will select that we have our own Facebook page. In the next step it will ask you whether you have an existing Meta Ads Manager account or do you want to create a uh, Meta Ads Manager account. In this case we will go ahead with the first option which says uh, yes I have my Meta Ads Manager account. Once you've selected this option as yes, click, simply click on continue with Facebook. It'll ask you uh, a few permissions now. So opt in to all current and future pages. Similarly, in the next step, click on opt in to all current and future businesses. And lastly, for the Instagram future for all current and future Instagram accounts as well. Once you hit continue, you tap on save and click on got it. The platform will now load all the Facebook pages that are part of the particular user who just gave the permission. So I'll be selecting one of the Facebook pages which which is let's suppose Interact non 2 d I'll hit on proceed. Now it'll also fetch all your ad manager accounts that are part of this particular user. As you can see I'm part of currently two users so simply tap on any one of them and click on proceed. Within a matter of seconds this got connected all right in this next scenario uh, we'll show you how you can create an Facebook page and an ad manager with interact so to simply do so uh, click on connect here select the option which says no I don't have my Facebook business page and then tap on this create Facebook page button once you tap on this it will ask you a few details once the details have been done, you can select the page category. Let's suppose we'll select information IT company. Here you need to mandatory enter the Facebook, the display picture and the cover picture. So let's suppose we'll just quickly go ahead and configure these details. All right, now that the media files have been uploaded, select the location, enter the address. That's it. Once you filled out all of these details, you can just simply click on create Facebook page simply to continue click on continue with Facebook page creation here it will ask you to begin with the account now so I've already logged in we'll repeat the same steps so that we repeated in the previous scenario wherein now you need to give access uh, to all your current and future pages all current and future businesses and all current and future Instagram accounts once you've done, you can review all the accesses that are being given and you can just simply click on save. Once this is done, the Facebook page uh, will be created. This can take a few minutes to do so. So we need to wait. All right. As you can see, the Facebook page has been created successfully. In case you would all like to see the page, just simply tap on this uh, view page button and uh, as you can see this is the new facebook page that has been created from our uh, from the interact platform going back you can just simply close this page has been created uh, move on to the next step which is to create or connect our meta ads manager account in this case since uh, we just created the facebook page obviously we wouldn't be having the meta ads manager account so we'll be creating a new one simply click on connect now before we create the ad manager account you need to ensure that to run your ads both on Facebook and Instagram you need to connect your Instagram to your Facebook page before we go ahead and create your ad manager account as well so you can follow the steps as it's shown in the video below we've already covered this part in the next video now once this is done you can just simply click on I have connected uh, Instagram and the ad account will be created on your all right, now that your Facebook page and your ad account has been connected successfully to Interact, we'll move on to the, the final step, which is creating the ad campaign. 
but uh, before we create the ad campaign you would also would want to connect your instagram account to the facebook page so that you can run ads both on facebook and instagram parallelly via the same ad campaign to do the setup simply click on the settings icon over here once you click on settings here you can see these are the details that we selected so if you remember we had selected the page name as uh, interact non 2t the page id is this and this is the ad account id which has been connected now to ensure that the customers get redirected after watching your ads on facebook and instagram to your interact account which is basically whatsapp you will be needing to connect the whatsapp number to the and the instagram account uh, to the facebook page to do so you can simply click here to know how to connect just to quickly show you guys i'll just move on to uh, facebook i'll just select this particular page which was in drag non 2d which we had selected over here we'll go to settings and uh, under settings we'll go to linked accounts under linked accounts you can see there are two options instagram and whatsapp let's go ahead and connect whatsapp first now here you need to enter the same number that is part of the interact account so that the chats can be visible over here so as you can see this is the number we'll just simply copy this number over here paste this number and we'll send a whatsapp code now since this is a whatsapp api number request would be sent on the facebook business manager that has been connected to this particular account the request has been sent successfully now i'll just go to the facebook business manager where this api number is connected so i'll go to request and here if you can see it says the uh, this particular cbm has requested to connect uh, interact non 2t facebook page with this particular number simply tap on respond and click on approve now to verify whether the number is connected you could just simply refresh this page and as you can see the number has been connected successfully and the number has been made primary please note uh, that the uh, you can connect multiple numbers to your facebook page but please ensure that the number that is connected on interact is the primary number of your facebook page so that the ctwa uh, conversations can get redirected to interact okay going back let's go ahead and uh, connect the instagram account as well to so simply do so you just need to ensure that the instagram account that you connect is a professional and a, or a business account and it's not a personal one because you can't connect a personal account for your facebook business page simply tap on connect here on continue it will ask you to log in since i've already logged into my instagram account i'll just simply tap in as now it's asking that okay hey the facebook page and instagram will now both be connected together do you want to connect simply tap on continue all right as you can see the instagram account has been successfully connected now to verify this go back to the interact account and simply click on this refresh icon as you can see it's successfully shows that the number has been connected successfully uh, now similarly tap on this refresh icon for instagram as well done and as you can see the instagram also has been connected successfully and now we are good to go with creating the first ad campaign to create the ad campaign simply click on this uh, cta button which says create ad campaign the first step is you need to give the campaign a particular name now you can select the ad destinations you want so there's facebook and uh, as you can see it says that uh, there's all an instagram account also connected so you can simply click on this instagram as well and hit done the second step is to set the ad creatives so there are multiple options just like how it's available on facebook like uh, having image carousel video just for this we'll just randomly upload a particular image once you've uh, filled out the headline and description you can go ahead and hit done the next step is to define the targeting let's suppose i'll enter any random location over here let's suppose uh, mumbai here you can uh, adjust the range between 1 to 80 kilometers as per the standard limit provided by meta let's suppose i'm updating this to just 3 kilometers 
now you can fill out other things like if you want to target a particular gender or whether you want to do both let's suppose we'll do both then you can select the age range as well which is between 18 to 65 years let's suppose i want to target people between 18 to let's suppose 30 years and as you can see as as you play along and apply these filters the audience size changes you could also select interest that okay hey people who are interested in let's suppose clothing let's suppose they're interested in some fashion accessories and so on so based on the filters and interest you apply or uh, the audience size changes as you can see this is done move on to the next step which is entering the budget for the campaign so here you could enter the budget 100 for now we'll just enter a random number or let's suppose and uh, you can enter the date uh, period as well this is today's date so we can just enter a date let's suppose oh, i'll keep an end date for tomorrow and as you can see we fetch this data directly from meta so as per the audience size and the targeting that was defined earlier in the steps so uh, the budget should be at least 200 for the duration so in this case just to be on the safer side we'll just enter an amount of 300 to the next step which is setting out the autofill and nice breakers for the for your end customers to interact with your business you could just set up a pre-filled autofill message or an icebreaker something like let's suppose price please no more so i'm just setting these two icebreakers for now so that if somebody clicks on price please or no more now again you we have uh, more options wherein you can link different chat workflows or uh, auto reply configured for these particular icebreakers so for example either you can if somebody says that uh, uh, taps on price please as the icebreaker or you could just send them that uh, you can uh, check out our pricing on interact.shop slash pricing or something like that or if you also want you can set up a chat workflow and uh, these are the workflows that are part of your interact account you could just simply tap on creating a new workflow or you can just select an existing one once this is done we move on to the next icebreaker which is no more now uh, in this case you can also set up an auto reply or a workflow so let's suppose for the first icebreaker we had set up a chat workflow so for the second one uh, we'll just simply type out a particular auto reply all right once you've configured all the information simply tap on done all right so we'll move on to the final step which is defining conversion points so conversion points are nothing but uh, passing on the relevant information regarding uh, when a lead is uh, converted or when a lead is particular qualified and all of this data is directly passed to meta so that uh, they can track and analyze uh, this for better results now to simply add a conversion point click on this add conversion point cta here there are two intents which is purchase or lead qualified let's suppose we'll go ahead with the free tap on this uh, purchase intent and we can just say that okay hey the customer sends a whatsapp card in the next seven days you can also pass this conversion data to meta by simply tapping on the cta button once this is done click on save and your conversion point has been added you can add uh, more conversion points as well over here as would you would like simply tap on this done button but if uh, completed all the steps uh, if you would want you could just view everything over here once you verified everything you can also see the final preview how it would look like on facebook and even on uh, instagram once this is done you could just simply tap on this publish button and the ad would get published as you can see has been uh, set live now meta will review the ad before the, it starts delivering it so it might take a few minutes or in some cases hours as well for the ad to start getting delivered you need to ensure that you have enough balance in your meta ads wallet for this ad to run in case uh, you go around with the other route wherein uh, have you've created the ad manager account on interact in that case you don't need to worry about uh, the ads wallet balance since the amount will be automatically deducted from your interact wallet balance itself verify whether your ad has been successfully published or not or uh, simply go to the 
add account that got selected initially you can search for the campaign like i've already done and as you can see the campaign uh, is visible we have kept the campaign name as weekend sale september 25 this was the ad set used this was the preview of the ad that we have just made live. Please note uh, that you can only see the ads on the ad manager if you are selecting and connecting your own ad manager uh, during the setup process. If you are creating the Facebook page or the ad manager via Interact, you will need to rely on uh, Interact's ad campaign analytics section for all the data with respect to impressions and conversions.